When I tell you guys, I have been cat full on belly cackling for the last 10 minutes. <laughs> Yo. Wow. Wow. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Queenie. For those who don't know me, boy. You know, low-key, we were supposed to have plans today. By the way, I'm in Guyana. For those who still don't know, I am in Guyana, living my best life. Follow me on Instagram and see my stories. I'm not really posting much, but, you know, just support your girl anyways. So, yeah, my plans got canceled. And I'm glad they did because y'all were hitting me up on Instagram talking about, you lame, you lame, watch the episode, watch the episode. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna watch the... Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow, this is great. Love Island, listen, the word of this, or the phrase of the season is slow burn. And let me tell you, this season was the epitome of a slow burn, but honey, it is on fire right now. Before I get into it, please make sure to like the video. It has been a minute and a half of me just, <laughs> please be sure to like the video. Subscribe and hit the bell and leave a comment down below. So the morning, the morning, I can't, I can't even, I can't even take myself serious. Okay, the, the morning debrief. <laughs> stop, stop it, man. The morning deep, the mm, the morning debrief. I didn't really pick up anything except what Tanya said, and I'm so glad it stood out to me. You know, Tanya saying she still loves Shaq, but like only when she's in the villa like i don't know if i perceive that wrong but that's that's what i heard obviously in the main villa i love Shaq, and here i don't know what it is about martin but martin's just that guy and did you respond he kissed me no it was a very quick kiss it oh. wasn't like anything long <laughs> i just i don't i don't i don't understand i knew tanya was going to be some kind of villain, but I never, never saw this coming. I, you could not have written this. You could not have written it. So anyways, um, we're gonna move on to that because we're gonna get on Tanya for the last maybe 10 minutes of this review. So let's just move on. Um, Ron is talking to Tom and I'm thinking like, does Ron still have feelings for Sammy? Like, is he jealous? Because what is this conversation right now? How does it go like that? Resist all the boys cracking on the bar. Look, I'm not gonna put it in your head that she's lips in every boy in there. Honestly, bro, I, I would I would just stand there on my own. You're almost putting yourself in no man's land when you don't need to. I know this man did not just insinuate that Sammy is fast. A girl like Sammy would just hop onto some next man like that. Like I don't know, I don't know what he meant by that. It was kind of weird if you ask me. Um it's it, it's either jealousy or gameplay. It's either jealousy or gameplay, and either way, it just, it was, it was, ew, it was kind of gross. I'm not going to lie to you. And then you have Tom talking about, no, it's okay if I stand there single, like, she would be worth it and whatnot, and I'm just like, <laughs> okay, turn over a new leaf, Tom, like, sure, sure, sure. But yeah, Ron, he just, I don't know, he really put me off of this conversation, but whatever, it is what it is. Um, I think we are going to move on to, yeah, the recoupling. Because everything else was just a filler. The recoupling was the main event. The first person to go was Casey. And Casey decided, after all of his taste the rainbow, decided to stick with Claudia. And Claudia's over the man. Oh, she's so excited. I can't even look at him. How does that feel? I knew that what we had was something special so I'm really happy. Anyone holding their tongue mm. at the moment? <laughs> Guys I tell you my jaw was on the floor. My jaw was on the floor mainly because like like a part of me and you know this you can tell in the way that I was talking about it like a part of me definitely felt like this was just a 
a burst of jungle fever for Casey and so for it to have panned out this way I'm not surprised but I'm just very irritated like that whole like laughy jokey Casey where's that Casey huh where's that Casey where's that Casey now my heart breaks for cakes I think her name is Linda is her name Linda Cynthia 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 her name is Cynthia I feel really bad for Cynthia like my heart actually broke for real and then it broke even more when Claudia and Casey were laughing about something I don't care if they were laughing about the situation I don't care if they were laughing about a plane that was flying over this is not the time to laugh okay and miss working for the Birkin was working yeah why are you laughing why are they laughing it's obviously funny isn't don't it? laugh <laughs> Don't start, I'm laughing. Oh, no, I'm not, I'm not starting. starting. I'm not starting. Yeah, I'm at, like, honestly, I'm at the point where I have to buy a Birkin myself for Layla because, wow, was she on 10 this episode. This girl, <laughs> she was fantastic, okay? Coco walked so Layla could run. I loved it. It was great. I would love to see what more she has to give us in, like, maybe the beginning of the next episode because I know... I know something's about to pop off. I, I can feel it in my bones. But yeah, Casey, you really disappointed me. I'm really upset with you right now. Moving on. Um, Kai was next to choose. And Kai obviously chose to recouple with uh, Bridgerton, who is Sanam. And then Olivia, she came back recoupled as well with, what's his name? Curly. What's his name? What's his name? What? Maxwell. But why is she walking in on her high horse as if she did not do the exact same thing that Kai did? It's very telling, it's very telling. Missing me already? Clearly not enough. He's lost my game. All his words were lies. You can it's talk fine. about it later. It is what it is. I'm gay. Olivia, you are not that girl. I don't know how many times we have to tell you, Olivia, you are not that girl. Never will be that girl. Never has been that girl. You are, you are, you're not her. You are not her. These one-liners are so cringe. I'm just like, can you stop? It is tired. You are tired. We are tired. You need to go. Here she is now with Maxwell. And like, even Kai was like, I don't even understand what you're on right now. Like, I'm not confrontational. So you're wasting your breath right now. You be happy. I'm happy. Let's move on. Honestly, Kai, this is one of the few times where I agree with you. Ron decided to stay loyal, not just at the recoupling ceremony, but throughout Casa. This was my test that, to see whether or not that she could trust me and... I needed to prove that to her. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Listen, you have to give credit where credit is due. When the man said he would stay loyal and staying loyal, he did. He did. He had a little blip there where he was kind of interested in Sammy, but he didn't he didn't pursue that too much. He didn't do anything there at all, actually. Um, so yeah, he stayed true to his word. I can't be mad at it. I cannot be mad at it. Even Lana in um, Casa was saying that honestly, it would really be a piss take if he would do anything in Casa considering everything that he's already done. So good on Ron for saying two to his word. Let's see if he can carry it on through the rest of the season. Tom is next to choose. And he chose to stick with Sammy. Trust is all the poor girl. Like she was putting on a brave face. I could tell, like, I could tell she really likes the guy. And now seeing her, um, what is Tress's real name? I think this is Lydia. Linda? I don't know. Something like that. You could really see how much she was into him, the way that she was trying to save face in front of Sammy and Tom. And I was just like, oh, my heart. He has chosen to stay loyal to you. <laughs> They've got something like special that he thinks is there then that I can't like argue with it, you know what I mean? Never want to hurt anyone. Like from the bottom of my heart, I never want to hurt any girl. I don't think you needed yeah. to kiss somebody no, to realise. No, I understand. I like, understand. Yeah. Leopard never changes their spots. This man was speaking clearly and concisely the, the, this whole time. No problems whatsoever until Layla spoke up and not a man. No, 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 no. Answer Layla's questions. Answer Layla's questions. Hmm? You just got along with somebody? Are you serious, Tom? Be for real. I will be honest and say I would rather it pan, pan out this way because we do get to keep Sammy. But don't make it like, come on. <laughs> Anyways, I'm so glad Layla was putting everybody's ass to the fire. Oh, man. Layla, we got to keep her. We got to find a way to keep her just a little bit longer. So Will already knows 
no matter how this pans out, he is screwed. If Jesse comes in single, he's screwed. If Jesse comes with a partner, he's screwed. And he didn't even give Layla a chance to expose him. He just exposed himself. You know, I have let myself down. I just really hope I haven't let Jesse down too much, to be quite honest. <laughs> Was that happy to him? Yeah? Were you loyal? No, no, not completely, no. Okay. Hey, hey, don't you worry me. Jesse, okay, my bone to pick is actually with Jesse. Forget Will. Forget Will. Jesse, how did you manage to make Will the victim here? You're supposed to be the victim here. You're supposed to be the victim here. Don't be like, oh, I hope that you're okay, Will. Jesse, if you're playing a game, you're playing it wrong. You're playing it very wrong right now. You're supposed to be in tears. And <laughs> quick aside, when she had her little crying moment, I was like, well, that ended very quickly. I didn't see not a tear drop down her face, not a makeup was smudged. Did you really cry? But anyways, she's supposed to be here bawling her eyes out, supposed to be rah, rah, give us something. Jesse, give us something. You're supposed to be distraught. You're supposed to be destroyed. You're supposed to be disheveled. Come on, sis. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, I wish we got more from her, but we didn't really get much. Um, she's really feeling for Will. But it's it's clear that something inside of her maybe just needs to, like, take in what happened to get a response. So maybe we'll see something in the next episode. Last is... is, is <laughs> you know, I can't even think of this serious, like... Yo, Tanya actually has me Oh, Last of her couple is Shaq. And we know Shaq has been absolutely loyal. His head did not even let alone turn. And Tanya walks in with Demisha. Oh, what's this man's name? With Martin. Tanya walks in with Martin. And, you know, even before... Tanya came in, the room was very melancholy, very down, very somber, very quiet, because everybody knew some shit was about to pop off. And baby, Tanya comes in talking about, well, no relationship is successful without some bumps in the... <laughs> Tanya, I know you did not just say that. I actually meant it when I said that I love you. It's definitely not the end. It's the end for me, sir. If I tell a girl I love her and she says it back, it's kind of a different situation. No relationship has a smooth run, and we personally have not had any speed bumps. How are you feeling right now? To be honest, like, just excited to be here. Here's my thing. If Tanya feels like there are too many red flags to let go of what Shaq, that is her prerogative. I do not care. Leave that man, whatever. But I fully believe Demisha is gonna drop. I need to remember this man's real name. Until further notice, he will still be Demisha. I feel like this Demisha is gonna drop her like a pack of hot potatoes. A sack of hot potatoes. That's what it is, a sack of hot potatoes. He is going to drop her so quick before she can even say Costa a Gone. Gone. He's gonna be gone. I'm so sorry. I do not believe this man is into her as much as she's into him. And I don't think he's gonna stick around. If there's even some kind of like lingering between her and Shaq, he's not here for it. Speaking of lingering between her and Shaq, she's out here talking about she's out <laughs> now. My friends are now talking about love is blind. I need to talk about love is blind too. Um, anyways. She's out here talking about, um, well, you know, you never know how things are going to pan out. Maybe there's still a chance for us. And Shaka's like, no, it's dead. Tanya, it is dead. The man has said he loves you. And honestly, whether you guys think it's a love bomb or not, he had real strong feelings for the girl. Real strong feelings for the girl. Okay? Real strong. So the man has said he loves you. The man has taken you down. The man has taken you down. Okay? And y'all mutually agreed to be exclusive. Love, sex, exclusivity. And you think. <laughs> Child and drop my phone. And you think. Is my phone going to stay up? Yes, it will. <laughs> you think you could be laid up with some next man, kissing him, and telling Shaq, oh, well, yeah, every relationship needs to have some bumps on it. Does it? 
<laughs> y'all already have the bumps. If if we're using that logic, y'all already have the bumps. <laughs> Tasha. I mean, Tanya. <laughs> Tasha. <laughs> Anyways, guys. I just, I, oh, wow. I see why all you guys were DMing me on Instagram. Boy, the, heck tick this was hectic <sighs> anyways um maya jamma <laughs> looking sexy fine um brings in the rest of the casa boys and everybody's supposed to say their goodbyes but of course the episode ends there so i'm pretty sure they're gonna do a little bit of the conversations between the casa people and the regular people i love to see something pop off like i know and you know what's weird with some of you people in the comments some of you people were like you shouldn't wish bad on people but you're here watching love island where their personal lives are manipulated for our entertainment <laughs> make it make sense um yeah so i'm sorry i do want some things to pop off i do it would be it would be nice to see for my viewing pleasure it would it would it would and i would love layla to be at the center of it you know layla's always got something to say and she, i feel it in my bones she is gonna say something Woo! anyways guys please make sure to like comment share and subscribe i should be here home all day tomorrow so maybe you'll get the review on time we will see i get home uh sunday night so reviews will be back to normal come monday oh we're gonna have a time 